What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a reaction for the World Beyond Season 2 extended trailer. I know I'm a little bit late. There was a trailer that came out like a week ago and now there's a trailer on AMC. But I'm going to react to it uh, because I am a, in a very small group. I feel you have to let me know. Hopefully not. But I actually really like this show, you know. I do see it's nothing on par with quality of regular Walking Dead. Um, but it is better than fear, I will say, because it has direction. It knows where it's going. It knows the story it wants to tell because it's already ordered itself for just two seasons. Hopefully they don't change it and extend it. But it is a specific story that it wants to tell. Um, and it's not like Fear of the Walking Dead where it's just kind of written season to season. Although I do think they're kind of wrapping Fear a little bit better up now because they're planning on maybe merging it with Walking Dead with the new storyline and, and that. Uh, but but no, I, I, I enjoyed a lot of the characters in World Beyond. I like Felix, Silas, um, the, the, the main girl with the black hair, you know, her acting and some of her character stuff, not really so much, but, you know, there was a cool fight in the end, the, the fire in the house, um, you know, I, I, I liked it, you know, for the most part, I liked it. I, I didn't hate it as much as everybody else. So anyway, stop talking, we'll get into the trailer reaction, and then we'll talk about it after. We're working to stop the monsters and to save people from turning into monsters. None of us will be safe as long as this exists in the world. Damn, Felix ain't fucking around now because he knows, right? She's a traitor. Here I'm changed the game. So we change how we play. Is why you. They're the reason the only family we got is dead. One wrong move, and it's over. Why would we kill thousands of people? Why don't you tell us? He's a, Felix is a really good actor, I think. He kind of reminds me of Rick a little bit. We're going to find out what the CRM is up to. And then we're going to burn this place to the ground. So you want to start a war? Some people. Yeah, I, I like the, the kid in the. It takes facing that the kid. I. You know, it's gonna be. I okay. know some things are a little bit cringy over the top, but it's not. It's really not too bad. I feel like they said they made this show for kids, but I feel like more stuff in through the Walking Dead is kid oriented than this show. Other than the fact that this show just has kids. Last week, An epic conclusion, and at least, like I said, and that's where I end. Stay vigilant. That's all. So you wanna start a war? Oh. The whisper? Oh my god, what? I thought they were teasing it like being a whisper in the thumbnail. I know that the Civic Republic is the last light of the world. My purpose is to create a new era on this planet. Hope we get to catch up while I'm here. Oh my god. Yeah, so I had already heard in the news and then in thumbnails that Jadis was going to be in the trailer, but that's also something that really draws me to this show a lot. Is it's more of the CRM stuff. I mean, it's pretty much the whole storyline, so I really hope it's connecting to Rick somehow, or at least setting up a storyline, or uh, something that'll give us, like, a pre, uh, what am I saying, a pre-story to something that we see in the, the Rick movies, you know? Maybe, and this is huge to see Jadis again. She's the last person with Rick. This is absolutely huge. The closest thing that we have gotten to Rick since he left the show, uh, like, two, three years ago, whatever. 
Um, so is she talking to Rick right there? I don't know. It's just, it's exciting. You know, we got to get some, something, just a little something to connect to, to, to Rick, right? I mean, this whole, like I said, the whole storyline is the storyline that he's in the middle of, uh, the CRM group. Um, so that's, you know, a big reason, big pull to it as well. This is just nuts. Super awesome. Uh, what was Jada saying there? She was just explaining what she is about the CRM and, uh, but what, who she was talking about catching up with is she, could we see like her talk to Rick, but we don't know who she's talking to, but we can all just assume that way. Cause of course you're probably not going to have Andrew Lincoln in there. Um, and then she just kind of goes off, but then that would require Rick not to ever talk back, but maybe he's in like a coma state, you know, again, a lot of people would think that would make sense. Uh, I don't know, but I thought it looked good. You know, I, I really do and, and really liked it in uh, season one. I do get it's, it's flaws that people critique sometimes and this and that, but in my opinion, I mean, there's really not much that's been all perfect or top notch about the walking dead, uh, anymore. Anyway, just some of it is better than others. Uh, you know, and I would put fear at the bottom. Although, like I said, maybe they're shaping up, shaping up a little bit with the nuke storyline, um, in the past two seasons, but four and five, Fear the Walking Dead, absolutely deplorable. But yeah, this is good. I like I like stories that know where they start and where they end. So anyway, I don't want to repeat myself too much anymore. Let me know what you think about the show and uh, what you're excited for. And I will see you guys in the next video.